Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of English no Kruhaju Quarantine Edition. So I am coming to you live from Spartanburg, South Carolina. There are birds chirping, and yeah, I'm speaking live from my parents' house in these crazy times. So if you are listening to this, I imagine we are still in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19. Maybe if you were listening in the distant future and humanity has survived, then, well, that's a whole different situation. So I don't really know what to do. So I do what I normally do and I turn on the recorder and I talk to myself. So just to maybe provide a little bit of entertainment, maybe be a little educational or, I don't know, at least provide some guidance or comfort in these trying times, I was going to tell a quick story or just talk about really the situation that I am currently in because I imagine it is very similar to a lot of your situations. So I am at my parents' house. This is uh, not my childhood home, but just like five minutes from the house where I was born. Again, not true. I was born in a hospital, but I am living five minutes away from the house where I grew up in. But in all honesty, this is my childhood home. I've lived here, I lived here since I was like seven until university. And then I have been periodically coming back to visit my parents or when I don't have money and I need to stay with my parents or when I have a complicated visa situation, which happens often. So anyway, yeah, I'm at my parents' house. I was in Portugal with Alexia and I had to get home quite urgently for a a family emergency, and the day I left Portugal for the United States was, I believe, Wednesday, March 10th, something like that. Anyway, it was the day before things really, really got serious with COVID-19 here in the United States. It was the day before there was a travel ban um, preventing Europeans to travel to the U.S. And also, I think the NBA was canceled. A lot of sporting events were canceled. Tom Hanks said he was infected with the coronavirus. So I got here just in the nick of time. And that's an excellent phrase. In the nick of time, that means the last minute, the perfect timing. But now it's a bit complicated. Because Alexia is in Portugal, I am in the U.S., and neither one of us is allowed to travel and see each other, which makes me very sad. But it is not the first time that we have spent many months apart. We are quite used to it by this point. So anyway, I am rambling but I wanted to talk a little bit about my plans for the near future. I don't know if I will be here for two weeks or two months, two years, who knows. But to be honest, I was talking about this with Alexia and my parents. Quarantine or self-isolation comes relatively natural to me because I am a very introverted person by nature. I tend to derive a lot of energy and comfort from solitude and being alone. And I don't really get bored. So this is interesting. I am very similar to my mom in the sense that we always feel like we never have enough time. So we are always rushing. We're working a lot. We're trying to do things and we're always exhausted and we just never feel like we have enough time. 
And I remember reading a book um, at least six months ago, and I don't remember the name of the book. I, I believe the name was In Praise of Wasting Time. That could be wrong. But the author of the book used this sensation, he used the word time sick, that he always felt time sick. And for some reason that really resonates with me. I always feel time sick. I feel like I don't have enough time. I'm always in a hurry. And yeah, having a few weeks or an undetermined amount of time to really do whatever I want to catch up on things, work on projects, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of nice, given the circumstances. On the other hand, my dad and Alexia are totally the opposite. So if it is a Saturday afternoon and my dad is not working, he immediately needs a project. He will start working in the garage or fixing the door knobs or just working on his car, doing anything because if not, he will get very bored and restless and he kind of goes crazy. And Alexia is the same way. And I just thought it was really, really interesting thinking about how different people view time differently. And yeah, strange insight. So what are my immediate plans for the quarantine? Number one, obviously I will use this time to work a good bit to catch up and work on a lot of projects that I've wanted to work on for a long time now. But I really want to be mindful of not working too much because, well, I have worked remotely for almost 10 years and I know that working a lot, being by yourself, being very isolated and working too much is just not a good situation. It is a recipe for disaster and loneliness and just being unhealthy in general. So I'm not going to try to overwork, but I really, really want to focus more on personal projects and hobbies. So I have all of my instruments here, which I'm super excited about. So I have just I just restrung my guitar, my mandolin, my acoustic guitar. So I have acoustic and electric guitar. Um, I'm trying to get my keyboard to work, and I have a ukulele and a cavaquinho, cavaco. And yeah, I'm going to play a lot of music because I've always played music, but for some reason, as an adult. I've never taken it very seriously. Um, like I don't train and practice a lot. And this seems like a wonderful time to do that. And I'm very excited about that. I have also recently started drawing, trying to draw pictures of faces and portraits. And I've always been, I've never considered myself a good drawer. But it's really cool. After watching just a few YouTube tutorials, I could draw a relatively decent face. And it's super calming. It is very relaxing drawing without my cell phone or any distractions. And what else? Obviously, I plan on reading a lot. I will try to stay in relatively good shape. So right when I arrived here, I bought some resistance bands, like bands that create resistance, obviously, so I can do some workouts and try to maintain my fitness when I am home on quarantine. And yeah, read, work, play music, draw, fitness. Uh, one huge benefit that I have being at my parents' house is my parents have a relatively big backyard, um, backyard, city of Jardin. In British English, they say garden. In the U.S., we say yard. So I will get to spend a good bit of time outside. I will try to work outside if possible, record a podcast outside, and, yeah, record a bunch of podcasts with Alexia and hopefully interact with as many of you guys as I can. 
I really want to have a lot more interaction with our listeners and not just our listeners that are doing our courses and our challenges, but also have, I don't know, some sort of like open phone line that people can call and we can keep everyone company in these really crazy and difficult times. So this is totally a rant. I'm going to stop talking now, but I hope that all of you, all of you are well. I hope you're healthy, safe, stay close to your friends, your family, your loved ones, be smart, vigilant, and yeah, now more than ever is really a time that calls for community, kindness, um, a lightness of heart, all of these things that I really struggle with, a global pandemic really puts into perspective. So I will probably jump in on the podcast maybe once a week and randomly tell you guys what I'm doing during this quarantine um, period. And I would love to hear what you guys are doing. That would be super fascinating. Maybe we could do it on the podcast. Okay, that's it for today. As always, keep up the good fight. And now more than ever, lose well. <laughs>